I used to think of Hawaii as a tropical paradise with beautiful scenery, but I now realize this does not really capture the story of this land. I've come to understand the historical and political events that contributed to the social injustice that impacts Native Hawaiians today. Healing from cultural historical trauma for Native Hawaiians requires reclaiming those things that have been taken from them. Part of these efforts have to do with the land restoration projects that focus on bringing back to life the land of the past. For example, when wealthy pineapple plantation owners diverted water supplies away from the taro farms on the other side of the island, the consequences were devastating for the entire ecosystem. Efforts are now in place to restore the water supply to the lo'i so that the taro can be grown there once again. Healing the land in this way has therapeutic effects for the Native Hawaiians as well, and that it reconnects them in both a physical and spiritual way to the land. There are now a number of nonprofit organizations dedicated to educating youth about cultural practices and getting them involved in land restoration projects. There are also a number of family-operated farms that welcome in troubled individuals to help them heal from their traumas. The power of the land and listening to what it needs seems to center the individuals who seem lost. Putting both feet on the ground and tending the land is both therapeutic and sacred. I'm still in the process of rediscovering Hawaii with this new lens, and although I still envision the beautiful scenery when I think of Hawaii, it's now against the backdrop of this complex story behind it.